So you might be wondering why we're pulling out our insulation. And that's because we made kind of a big mistake. When we put the insulation in, we put it right up against the plywood. And we discovered that we were having a pretty big uh, moisture condensation problem behind the insulation up against the plywood. The way we figured it out is that there was a leak coming from our chimney. So at first we thought maybe th there was a leak in some of the chimney insulation. Maybe some of the screws were not uh, super sealed. But we did end up sealing the chimney. It didn't solve the problem. So we decided to pull a little bit of vapor barrier and insulation out from around the chimney. And we saw that the plywood and the top of the pink insulation was pretty much wet everywhere. So that was kind of a big shock to us. Uh, we started to have a little bit of a panic attack. So we called a family member, we showed them what the problem was, and they explained to us that because uh, we have a roof that is basically ventilated at the ridge and under the eaves at the soffits, then we actually have to be leaving a gap between the insulation and the plywood uh, of at least an inch. So we didn't know that going in. We thought if we just put it right up against the plywood, it would be okay. Um, but turns out that's not the way to do it. So basically what we have to do is we have to deepen our rafters here by at least an inch. So we bought some 2x4s. We're going to put them uh, flat to basically make them an inch and a half deeper. That'll drop the insulation down by an inch and a half, which will leave that much gap between the insulation and the plywood. So hopefully that'll give enough ventilation from the eave or from the soffit up to the ridge above the insulation so that we don't get moisture. And hopefully that will solve the initial problem we had of uh, water dripping in from the chimney. So it's a pretty big bummer. It's kind of setting us back a couple days of work, but we're just glad that we found the problem early on in the build. Uh, we were only camping here for maybe two, three days before we figured out that we had a big problem. So we're really happy that we found the issue and we can solve it before uh, winter really, really sets in. So let's get this fixed up uh, within the next couple days. To your right, or to our right. So we managed to fix up everything with the roof in just under two days. So now we can finally pick up where we left off two days ago, which was finishing the uh, second floor. Forgive us for not filming a lot of what we were doing over the past two days. We just wanted to get it done as fast as possible. I'm sure you can understand that. So we now have uh, a gap between our insulation and the plywood of the roof. And we haven't noticed any leaking from the chimney so far, which like I mentioned earlier, was the first indicator of something wrong and uh, we were feeling the plywood as we were doing it and it seemed like there was no more condensation building up so we think we're going to be pretty good. We'll obviously monitor it uh, over the course of the winter because we're not going to be putting boards up on the ceiling probably until next year so we'll be able to monitor it, see if there's any condensation forming inside and uh, fingers crossed we fixed it up. So let's pick up where we left off and finish the second floor here.
That exploded. Just about two or just under for most of the spots. So as long as we, if we make it two, it should kind of fit more or less everywhere.
a bit closer to this side. 